Hi. Hi, Elena. Hi, Karen. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? I suppose fine. I'm taking care of my baby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. How old is your baby? It, almost a year. Oh, okay. A, a baby girl or a baby boy? A baby girl. Oh, all right. Very nice. All next right. month. We'll... Oh. She's going to be a year old next month? Yes. Oh, all right. Nice. Congratulations. Very good. All right. Okay. Elena, how was your day today? Hi, very good. Thank you. And you? All right. It was good. Yes. Busy doing homework with my children. <laughs> <laughs> Planning classes all day. But yeah, it's okay. Very good. And Freddy, how are you, Freddy? Hello, Miss. How are you I'm today? Fine. Good. I'm all fine. right. Well, it's a day too. Yeah. Uh, but all it's okay, and I'm so happy for that. That's good. Very good. Hi, Maribel. Why so serious? <laughs> no, Maribel, you have to be smiley all the time. Very good. All right. Okay, so girls and Freddy, today we're going to begin. Well, we're not going to begin, but we're going to continue with section two. All right, yesterday we did some, like we began with the inference questions. All right, hi, Manuel. So today what I want is I'm going to show you right now the beginning of the video, as um, I said yesterday, about what we're going to be working on right now. Okay, so I'm just going to share that with you guys right now. Let me see. It's this one. It's actually this. All right. So this is the second video of the platform. I don't know if you saw it or not, but I want to take a moment so we can see it together so I can explain some things that how we're, we're going to be working today, tomorrow, and Thursday. All right? So I'm going to share the audio, so I hope you pay attention to it, and then we'll have some other things. All right. Okay. So this is the idea, guys. This is... Hold on. Whoa. My video is crazy. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here guys, from today and on, as in like Wednesday and Thursday, we're gonna be working with practice activities and resources. Actually the resources, I'm just gonna like mention them, all right, but the practice activities, we're gonna be working on that as I said, today, tomorrow, and Thursday, okay? So here, what we try to do is to give you some tips of some activities that you guys may, may do either here with us, like in class, or by yourselves if you have, like, chance to do that, all right? So here we have. So we're going to keep on listening to it. <gasps> You're not listening. You're not listening, guys. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Areas assessed on TOEFL test, reading, listening, speaking, and writing, there are several supplementary skills that will help you succeed on the test as well as in your academic studies. All right. So we believed that um, besides the listening, I mean, besides the skills, the four macro skills that TOEFL actually tests you on, there are some other skills or sub skills that you need to like improve all right so we decided that these are the ones these right. skills note taking paraphrasing and summarizing are not directly tested on the TOEFL test all right so that's important you're not gonna be asked to take notes you're not gonna be asked to paraphrase you're not gonna be asked to summarize but you need to know how to do this in order to get a better score so as I said, they are not like really, I mean, these skills are not really being evaluated on the test as such, but they're going to help you to get a better score if you actually like know how to handle them. All right. So we'll continue with this. But mastering them will help you improve your score. The strategies for developing these skills are presented below. On the next slide, we will detail what each supplementary skill is about. We want you to take a few minutes to read and take notes if you feel you need to do so. All right, so here, for if you have taken, I mean, if you have been curious enough through the whole course, I mean, on listening, speaking, and writing, the beginning of the video is the same, okay? They talk, all those three uh, videos, 
of each section. They're gonna tell you the same information about not taking, about summarizing and paraphrasing. Why? Because we believe those sub skills are very, very important for you to develop, all right? So right now, because I wanna work with this, uh, like, like here right now in class, just to make sure that you guys like, really can take notes about it, I'm gonna send you to your groups right now just to read this quickly and kind of say, okay, so this is what we should be doing when, when they say, okay, take notes. All right, you, we need to learn how to take notes. We just don't take notes just because, all right? Or, I mean, taking notes is writing everything. Taking notes is listening and writing something important, okay? So I don't know if you guys have this available like with you on your platform right now. Do you have your platforms ready? Guys, yes. Elena, San, Maribel, Freddy, Manuel, no. do you guys, do you have it up? Yes. Ahai, Astrid, okay. Ahai, okay. Brenda, yes. and Manuel. Who else yeah. do I have with me? Rodrigo and Saida. All right. Does everybody have um, your platform ready to go? Yeah? yeah. All right. Okay. So what I want you to do is I'm going to send you quickly to, you, to your groups. Uh, and I want you to read this together, but really, really like read it together because what I want you to do is I want you to take notes together and say, okay, so this is important. Oh, I didn't know this. Okay, I forgot about this or things that you kind of like feel that they are like there and they are important. Okay, so here we're going to go over, you're going to go over the, the three sub skills, note taking, paraphrasing and summarizing okay and kind of like read it together and say okay this is what note taking is about this is what paraphrasing is about and this is what summarizing is about once we're finished okay we're gonna come back here and i'm gonna keep on like talking to you about what else we're gonna be doing these three days all right okay so i'm gonna send you to your groups right now and just kind of go over the note taking the paraphrasing and the summarizing and in case you want to take note notes but at least read it and know what they're talking about okay because you don't have to answer any questions i'm just gonna give you like mm, mm, i don't know 10 minutes because you need, just need to read three past like short paragraphs okay you don't have to do anything with it just read it together well what am i doing here all right so i'm gonna send you right now uh here no here all right whoops okay guys Hi, Nidia. How are you, Nidia? I was wondering where you were. Yes, I have hello. Access. All uh, right. But okay. Here, uh, share with me, so I, I hear. Okay. All right. Thank you. So let's go to your groups and just read the summarize, uh, the note taking and paraphrasing from the platform. All right, so have it ready, guys. So you read it together from your platform. I don't have access. Hi, girls. Do you have access to the platform right now? Do you want me to share the screen? Would you please share the screen? Sure. Please? Yeah. No, don't worry about it. It's okay. All right. Note taking. You know what I can do? I can take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group. Would that help? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do that right now, right away. Just give me, let me see here. Okay. 
So that's the note taking one, and I'm gonna be sending the other the other ones right away, okay? So you may start you may start reading the uh, note taking right now. Just read it together, girls, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hi, Brenda. You need any help? Hi. Hi, Rodrigo. Hi, teacher. Yeah. Hi, what teacher. Do you, uh, okay. What do you need? I think I think we were both late to the class. And ah. we're not really sure what <laughs> happened. What okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's okay. So the idea, Brenda and Rodrigo, this is how I began the class today, is I started showing the uh, platform. Okay. Just give me a second. I lost it. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the platform of the um, of our hold on of our um, course. So what I wanted to do is I wanted you guys to read this together because usually or sometimes we don't really do it when we're like by ourselves. So the idea is for you to read this because as I was mentioning to the to them before you guys probably got in. It, on TOEFL tests, they measure the four macro skills, listening, reading, speaking, and writing. But within those skills, there are sub skills that can help you get better scores. For example, note taking, paraphrasing, and summarizing, okay? So note taking, uh, summarizing, and paraphrasing are, are sub skills that we want you guys to develop, okay? So what I want you to do is, together with Rodrigo Brenda, I want you to read what note taking is about. So I don't know if you have access to the uh, platform right now, or I already sent this first picture on the WhatsApp group. So you guys can read it. I just want you to read it and just oh, okay. comment anything if you need to comment anything about it. So do you have the platform? To the uh, picture on I the group. I couldn't find this on the platform, but I, I, I do have the picture. Okay, and I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna take the other picture right now about, hold on about summarizing and paraphrasing so you guys have it i just don't know okay so this is the other one so i'm gonna take a picture of this right now and i'm gonna send it again to the group so everybody has it okay okay thank you yeah okay thank you you're very welcome so as you guys work and read the first one i'm gonna be sending the other two okay Okay, thank you. Okay. So I can start reading if you want the first one. Okay. Hi, Robert. logic and the organization of the past okay okay i the important for this part is what were just a few the, the main ideas for the passage yes and they note very quickly but uh but the they note the different topics in the, in the conversation or context. Okay, uh, so please, Manuel, could you read the second?
If you can paraphrase what you've heard or read, your speech or essay will be clearer and more accurate. To paraphrase effectively, it is important to have clear notes on what you have read or, or heard. If you, what you have read or heard. Look at your notes and think about how you might explain the material to someone who is unfamiliar with the topic. Then write or speak using synonyms, simplified words, and different sentence structures from the original passage to clearly explain the concepts. To practice paraphrasing skills, follow these steps. Number one, read the text or listen to a spoken passage several times to be sure that you have fully understood the material. Deviate not using one of the methods illustrated in exercise MPS2 and MPS3 and on P57. Organize your notes in a way that clearly shows the parish, I don't know how do you say, it, of main point versus supporting detail. Determine the author's or speaker's main purpose, intent, and meaning. Five, convey the main points of the next of the text of lecture in one or two coherent paragraphs. Okay. What, was that the last that passage, guys? I mean, the last one or the the second one? The yes, last right. one. The last one. All right. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. So I think almost everybody's finished, right? So we're gonna probably like go back. So just give me a second here. The similar problem have with my platform. Don't don't. I don't know, but don't send respond. Oh. <laughs> but right now mine it's responding. Just allow me a couple of sections. Guys, did you finish reading? And uh, just no, about yes, to summarizing. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. Thank you. You will need to learn how to clearly and accurately summarize what you. Hi, Maribel, Elena. Finish reading. We're in paraphrasing. Okay. All right. Perfect. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I think it's.
All right, guys, I think it's everybody. I think everybody's coming back already. I hope you were able to finish reading, but if not, anyway, it is on the platform for you to read. Now, as I said at the very beginning of this class, we believe that these sub skills, again, they are not being tested on TOEFL as such, but they will help you get better scores, all right? So, paraphrasing, summarizing, and note taking. Remember that right now, guys, you are getting ready or you're preparing yourself in case you're going to take this test, okay? So the idea is for you guys to develop these sub skills, like to a level that you guys feel comfortable with. Note taking, as I said, is not taking notes of everything. It's just taking notes of the essential things, all right? The same thing paraphrasing. Sometimes it would be good to listen to something guys and then kind of like rephrase in your own words what he or she like they were saying or something all right and the same thing as summarizing so uh, th these sub skills you will find them also on your speaking section and you will also find them on your writing section okay so the very beginning of those videos is going to be the same because we want you guys to understand how important it is to summarize to paraphrase and to take notes, okay? After that, every section has different activities concerning to the, to the section, okay? So in this case, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna go back to the platform. I'm just gonna show you what else it says there and how we're gonna be working from the rest of like, for the rest of this week, all right? So here we have, I'm gonna share the video. It's the same video that's on the platform. It's just, a, um, I'm not gonna play everything because you can do that by yourselves. I just want you to see what we're gonna be working on, okay? Now, we will take you through listening practice activities. We want to remind you that these listening practice activities are just a few of them. Of course, you may find many more, but we believe these ones will help you succeed on your test. Okay, that's also something important, guys. Of course, we cannot really tell you or we cannot go over every single activity that would help you improve your listening because there are a lot, all right? So the idea uh, or what we wanted to do was to get the most important ones and then you can do like a lot of research on your own and to practice like even more, all right? So we're gonna take you understanding natural speech, understanding connections, identifying topics, details and making inferences and drawing conclusions. So in other words, today we're gonna go over understanding natural speech, okay? Uh, tomorrow, excuse me, we're gonna go over understanding connections and identifying topics. And on Thursday, we're gonna go over with making inferences and drawing conclusions. We're gonna give you some activities that you can work around them to get better on your listening skills. Again, not by doing it just once you're gonna be like a master on it, all right? You need to practice and you know what I'm saying, right? It's not a matter of, oh, I just do it once and that's it. If you're that kind of person, lucky you, all right? But most of us, we need to practice and practice and practice to get a better score, all right? So understanding natural speech. When you listen to that, what comes to your mind? What is understanding natural speech, guys? I'm gonna tell you this because that's what I wanted to explain to you what are we gonna be working on today, tomorrow, and, and uh, on Thursday, all right? Now, if I ask you, understanding natural speech, what comes to your mind? What do you think we're gonna be talking about? What's that? Anybody or everybody? Uh-huh. Natural thoughts. <laughs> Okay, yeah, all right. The, the, the name says it, right? Not natural speak, all right? Like speech or speaking, all right? So when we talk, guys, we make mistakes and not because we don't know the language. It's because we get so many ideas in our heads that sometimes we just kind of like think about it or we pause or we're like, mm, and we make these sounds uh, or like pauses even in Spanish, all right? So it's not a matter of, ah, oh, Nidia, didn't know what else to say, all right? It's not a matter of not you, like, not mastering the language. It's a matter of we're thinking about it while we're speaking, all right? So that's what pretty much natural speech is about. And you're gonna find it a lot on movies, on, I don't know, like um, news, news reports, 
podcast or whatever you get your hands on, all right? Or when you're talking to someone, suddenly I can like repeat what I'm saying or then I, I, I was going to say something. Oh, you see, I just did that. I, I, I kind of stutter, right? But it's not because I don't know. It's just because I'm thinking while I'm, while I'm speaking, all right? So that is natural speech. Usually on TOEFL tests, for the ones that were with me last course, when we were listening to some of the uh, listening passages, some of the professors or the students, they would kind of like hesitate on what they were saying. They were repeating themselves, all right, to make it clear, right? So that's natural speech. So what we're going to do, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna sh share with you the presentation. I, sent, I already sent this, okay? So here's understanding natural speech. You can, you guys can see this, right? Yeah. Hello, you can see it. All right. Very good. Okay. So practice with understanding natural speech. I'm just going to go over it really quick. It says the passages you hear in the listening section of the TOEFL test are presented in natural speech. So in other words, they are not being acted out. All right. It's not someone just reading the recording or like, I mean, recording while they're reading, but they're just like natural, uh, probably lectures. Okay. So as speakers interrupt themselves and make mistakes. All right. So they hesitate, they repeat phrases, they restart, etc. Right here, uh, you have the presentation. You can like read it and, or go back to it if you want to here, guys, it, it says, read this scripted speech sample that has had all the elements of natural speech taken out. So this par uh, paragraph right here, all right, when I say perfect, is that the, the person, or in this case, this reading passage, was well said that they didn't repeat themselves, that they didn't uh, stutter, that they didn't uh, restart. But then after that, you have the same passage, but with, like, said with natural speech, all right, because they stuttered, they repeated themselves, they restarted. So I wanted to show you the difference between one and the other one, all right, but I'm pretty much, you, I, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Here it says the speaker, if you, I hope you have time to read this later. It says the speaker in the sample above uses many features of natural speech. For example, he interrupts himself, all right, he, himself. He restarts the sentence, he stutters, all right? He corrects himself, etc. So like that's natural speech. And right now we're listening to, okay? Now here guys, this is the first exercise that we want you to work on. And it says, listen to natural speech samples, write what the speaker means, all right? So here you have, in this case, this is just a sample that I wanted to like for you to look at. It says, you hear. Decay, mm, radioactive decay, um, all right. It's uh, the element is breaking down and mm, lost in particles, all right? So that one is natural speech. What you have to write, it's a sentence where you don't do natural speech that you understand what you're talking about, okay? So right now, I'm gonna, this, you can go back to your PPT. You're gonna- Part go two. Whoa, whoa. Exercise. Hold on, guys. No, that's not the one. Okay, so you're gonna go back to your groups and you have things already on the PPT and I also send it aside from the PPT. The first one is for these four things. You're gonna listen, all right, to some short, like very short, let's say lectures and you have to write what you really, what they really mean without like making like without restarting without starting without without um pausing or making any other like hesitations on the sentence do you understand what you're going to do on the first exercise you're going to listen and then kind of like together if i'm working with brenda we're going to say okay brenda so in other words what did he say or what did he mean and, and brenda's going to say oh he said that you know um the earth I don't know, keeps on dying. I don't know, something depending on the topic, all right? Like short, it's like a sentence, just like the example you have here. That's what you're going to do on the first. On the second one, it says answering questions about content. You have, follow the example that you have here, play the audio, and then the questions are right here. 
For example, for this one, it says, where does the food storage occur? All right, so you have to answer it based on what you listened. Uh, why does the professor believe teachers have not succeeded in teaching critical thinking skills? It was said somehow on the listening. Number three, what is the professor pointing out? You have to listen. And these questions are in one listening, okay? So you can pause it as many times as you need to. And then for the last one, again, there are like some questions here, identifying the meaning of filler phrases and reductions. Follow the example, read it through, and then play the audio, and then get the question, get the, the choices. Do you understand what you guys are going to be working on? Yes. Now, in other words, all of these activities are based on speech, okay? And you're going to listen to them, and you're going to say, oh, yeah, all right, they're hesitating, or yeah, he's just, like, he stutters, or yeah, he restarted, all right? But anyway, you're getting the point across, all right? So I'm going to stop sharing everybody has the presentation because i already sent it the audios are on the presentation and they're also a side of the presentation so you can either play them like on the whatsapp on your whatsapp or any anyhow you want to but i want you to do it together all right i wanna if i go to your group i want to hear you listening to the audio and kind of like discussing with your partner okay so we're gonna do that for the rest of the time that we have so I'm going to go and I'm going to reopen all the groups. You're going to be working with the same people. There you go, guys. Okay. Um, was moderated. Moderated because they lived on tribute, and in order to collect tribute, only prosperous subjects can provide tribute. Four. Oh, sorry. Replay, please. Part two. Building skills. Listening. Exercise L1. Writing what the speaker means. 1. 
Alternative medicine's efficacy has never been consi uh, confirmed, so obviously we need to put them under the same strict investigation as we would we do with developing medicines, um, medicines under development. Two. So the brain has this tendency, and, and this shouldn't surprise you about the brain, you know about infants' recognition of faces, and we're all familiar, of course, with the face we call uh, the man in the moon. This tendency is to interpret vague images. To be sure. I think it's Part better, two. but, 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 but please, please, wait, wait, wait. Elena, this, uh, but uh, have you uh, opened the PPT? Because I think we have to... Alternative medicine's efficacy has never been considered. Uh, confirm. So, obviously, we need to put them under the same strict investigation as we would, we do with developing medicines, um, medicines under development. He's the, the number one. Yes. He's talking about uh, alternative medicine, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And it have to be proved that it's possible to develop this kind of medicine yes okay the second very good girls nice okay. Two. so the brain has this tendency and and this shouldn't surprise you about the brain you know about infants recognition of faces and we're all familiar, of course, with the face we call uh, the man in the moon. This tendency is to interpret vague images as specific ones.
Well, number three is talking about uh, the time taking a yeah. of the night, of the hour, and and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, it's about time. Or, I think you already know my view on borrowing money. Uh, it's good if what you're getting, say a, a house in an up and coming area, will ultimately be worth more than, uh, than the money and interest you pay back. And bad when you buy um, a car, for instance, that you can't sell at a profit. Then you don't want. You shouldn't borrow. You should never borrow to buy something that depreciates, goes down in value. Under what conditions does the speaker think it is acceptable to borrow money? When you pay back, yes. mm -hmm. it's easy when you give money, but when you pay back the money, it's Brenda and Rodrigo, how are you doing? I oh, were listening to the audios, but okay. Rodrigo was having issues. So oh, okay. We're hearing to them separately. Okay, that's okay. All right, what not? Where are you? Like, what number are you working on right now? The first one. Okay, that's okay. Teacher, because <laughs> I have some problems listening uh, ah. the, the audio. Okay, but okay. I. In this moment, I'm listening the first okay. one. That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about Thank it. Thank you. Okay.
All right, guys, um, I need to go because I have another class right now. What we're going to do is, we'll, I mean, I'm not gonna assign this for homework. We're gonna, as soon as we start class tomorrow, we're gonna go and we're gonna continue working with this. Uh, so probably we'll do it together. I don't know if you were able to finish the three questions. Were you guys able to finish all of them or not really? No, yeah, you did, Freddy, very no. good. Some of you did, some of you didn't. Maribel, were you able to finish? Maribel, your microphone is off. <laughs> <laughs> the first exercise, the first audio, uh, question, the, the audio one, two, three, four. Uh -huh. you, were you able to finish that one? Yes, but I think I have to listen again okay. in my case. <laughs> all right that's fine i mean that's why guys again i have always say this to you that's why i said the the presentations to you and the audio so you can like play them again too or listen to them again if you want to okay so tomorrow we're going to continue with this so i can share the answers with you and then we can talk about it again that's going to be for the like the uh, beginning of the class and after that we're going to talk about connections and uh, connectors that help us out to understand what they're talking about, all right? So thank you so much, guys, again, for being with me another night. Uh, I do appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you, and keep thank on you. listening. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Have a nice night. You too. Bye.